Hi there. You're about to watch a St. James sermon. Thanks for stopping by. Here at St. James, we want to see people transformed by the Bible's life-changing message about Jesus. We hope that's going to be your experience too. If you're a regular watching our content online but don't live in the city, why not consider popping over to our website and making a small gift so that we can continue to provide our content far and wide. If you are in Cape Town, don't be a stranger. Come and join us here in Kenilworth at 8am or 10am on a Sunday morning. We'd love to see you face to face and connect in person. But for now, enjoy the sermon. Now, boys and girls, moms and dads, remember I said at the start of the service, we want to try and make this Easter the best Easter ever. Now, I don't know, but how are we going to make this Easter the best Easter ever? The best Easter ever? Whoa. Okay. A voice from the man in the white jacket. Uh, the best Easter ever. I have what you need to make this the best Easter ever. Okay. Before... Before that, who are you? What's your name? Where I, do you come from? I am Chef Gustav. Gustav. And I have the ingredients we need oh. to make this the best Easter Gustav ever. Gustav as in from overseas? From overseas, from underseas. Oh, okay. You look like Chef Gulam, but that's okay. Uh, so you telling me you got all the ingredients we need to make this Easter the best Easter ever. And do you have those ingredients here? Of course, every good chef never leaves home without his ingredients. Okay, I want to see these ingredients. Can you show me? I can show you. Yeah. But first, you're shaking there, Gustav. You need I some need help. I need you to yeah. put this on. No, oh, this, okay, okay. These things are very heavy. There's a okay. lot of ingredients, and my what muscles is... just can't handle it anymore. Okay. Yep. Is there anything else you need? Uh, if you're going to be in my kitchen, sir, you need to sanitize. Okay. It's no COVID any moment, it's okay. Yeah, right? Hygiene Good. is number one. And anything else? A table. A table, don't worry, we don't worry. A table. You get ready, I'll get the table for you. Gustav, I'm so excited to see these ingredients. Are you sure these are the ingredients to make Easter the best Easter ever? 100%, okay. the best okay. ingredients ever. But okay. we also, I also need some... I feel Extra like I'm a... Help because I don't think we have enough hands. You need some help? Okay, I, I can organize that. You. We've got a lovely audience here. Okay, I need someone with a bow tie. Oh, that's you, Gareth. Come up. Uh, I, need, uh, I need a kitty under the age of five. A kitty under the age of five? No, Uncle Leon, not 55, five. Uh, a kitty. Here we go. Okay, come up on stage. Come that way. Come that way. Uh, I need a teenager. I need a teenager. I need a mom or a dad, and I need a grandparent. Okay. If you don't know you're a grandparent, maybe now's a good time to figure out if you are. A grandparent, a mom and dad, and a teenager. Uh, I know you guys at the back. I can see you. I'm going to choose. So someone, who is that? Okay. Zazie. Right. Let's go. A grandparent. That's right. Okay. Uh, we need a mom or a dad. Mom or dad. Don't make me choose. <laughs> Mama or dad? Okay. Sanitize Must I choose? My kitchen. Uh, let's, let's choose someone that we don't normally uh, choose. Now I can't see so like, uh, Don't look down. Look at me. Uh, <laughs> the gentleman with Adidas, old school Adidas stuff, you're looking right at me. Uh, will you join us? Uh, are you a parent? Oh, not yet. Am I, no, no, no. I'm going to help you with that. Come up. Come up. Come up. <laughs> Come. Your life might change today, my man. Uh, okay. Gustav, are you happy? Look at this wonderful selection. Are you happy? Not yet. Someone hasn't sanitized. Okay. Hygiene in the kitchen. Okay. Here we go. Right. right. Now the moment we've all been waiting for. Show us this, these ingredients Our that we need to make Easter good. For Easter are as follows. Please, sir, would you take an ingredient? 100%. You can't have a great Easter without hot cross buns. It's okay. a staple at every Easter. Um, you, sir. Pickles. Pickles. Pickles because Is it? pickles and tuna make pickle fish. Oh, okay. Okay. Pickle fish and hot cross buns 
for a great Easter. Okay, Gustav, I like what I'm seeing. Do you want to pick Young lady, your ingredient is a bag of carrots, carrots. for the Easter bunny. The Easter bunny needs carrots. Okay, okay. So we got carrots, we got pickled fish, we got uh, hot cross buns. And hot chocolate. Okay. Because you can't have Easter without chocolate. Okay. And um, Easter egg, marshmallow Easter egg. And some people like white chocolate. Yeah. So we have some milk. Oh, oh wow, okay. White chocolate. To make the, is there anything more? Nuts. Nuts. Why nuts at Easter? Some people like whole nut chocolate, so oh, wow. we Gustav, got some nuts. You've, you're covering all the types of chocolate, right? Now, now these ingredients look great, but look at all of us here. It looks a bit too man, eh? How are we all going to enjoy this? Must we all just take one bite and pass? No, or what? no, don't you worry. Don't you worry about that. In my kitchen, Chef Gustav knows how to make meals stretch. Okay, uh, Gustav, I'm not following. How are these... Ingredients going to help us make this Easter the best Easter ever. I, I, I don't understand. I'm a bit confused, Gustav. Well, in order to make these ingredients stretch and for everybody to have some, we have this magnificent machine. Whoa. And once we put all these ingredients together, we'll have the perfect Easter. So we put it all into this amazing machine. Oh, okay, Gustav. Uh, but now, where does this go? That? Gustav, you look Can like you're coming from Noah's Ark here with this uh, old machine. Here we go. Here we oh, go. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Gustav, so you're telling me if we put all of these things in this blender, it's going to blend up and we'll be ready for Easter. That is what I'm saying. This okay. is what we need for the best Easter ever. But these are we really, are are really going to do it? That's why I'm here. I'm a chef. Okay, good we stuff. Make things. Show me, show me. Should we start with a carrot? Can we no, put a carrot, carrot in our blender? No, no, not that whole packet, my God. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Put that in, put that in there. Okay, one carrot okay. in our blender for the Easter egg bunny. Young man, uh, would you like to put the marshmallow in? Take it out of the packet. I'll open up this hot chocolate. Can I, can I put some nuts in? Please, please, some nuts. Perfect, perfect. That's enough. No, 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 Gustav, you've Whoa. got a light hand. Eh? I thought you... Yeah, that's it. And this is to make the, the chocolate white. Chocolate white. white. white to chocolate. make the chocolate white, okay. White chocolate. I think we need a hot cross bun as well. We are Gustav. breaking bread. Yeah, that's good. And pickle fish. Pickle fish. Okay, thank you, and haha, -ha. good thing I brought my handy kitchen tool to open up our fish. Nice, good stuff. Thank you. Fantastic. Oh, I oh. can't wait for this. Smelling a... It's going to be the best Easter Amazing. ever. You must drain some of that, uh, that, that vatage is off there, eh? Good stuff? No, no, that adds to the flavor. It oh, adds okay. to the flavor. Yo, oh, okay. Okay. And now we put the lid on. No, no, you're safe here, my girl. I no don't worry. think we have enough milk. Can we add a little bit more milk? No, we like it thick. Nice, nice, yeah. okay. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Ha. Are we ready? Take us, Gustav. Are we ready? Yeah. <laughs> Gustav, what's happening here? Uh, are you sure you're a chef? I think too many cooks are spoiling the broth. Thank you very much for your help, everybody. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. No, you, thank sir, you, with the bow tie. You can stay. You can stay. Oh, let's try this again. But, Gustav, you said if we mix this up, we're going to have the best Easter ever. It's not even mixing here, man. We're going to mix it. Okay. It's going to mix. It's going to work, and it's going to be a fantastic best Easter ever. These are the ingredients we need. Here we go. Oh. It's, a it's a delightful color, Gustav. 
It's brilliant. Uh, shades of brown. Oh, there we go. I was afraid that the carrot wouldn't blend, but... No, this oh, blended carrot. Perfect. No, no, I think it stuff. dissolved. Just get some smoothie, and it will stretch. Oh. Now, now how, do, how do we know that this is what we need? I think we should have a taste, Matt. I, I think so. I've yeah. been waiting for this. This is amazing. Mm. Go, Gustav, go. I can smell it from over <laughs> here. Oh. Mm. It's nice and chunky also, Gustav. No, no, no. Pour some for all of us. Just pour for yourself, don't worry. Uh, go, drink there, pour. That was a tell generous us, helping. Is this, tell us, taste it and tell us what is this? Is this the best Easter ever? Don't shake, Gustav, don't shake. Mmm. <laughs> Tastes as though an Easter bunny is dancing on my tongue. <laughs> Please, sir, taste hey, it. I don't know if the bunny was dancing on your tongue. Come on, lads. <laughs> no, just yeah. close your eyes and knock it. It's great, eh? Just like it. Yeah. <laughs> there's some, Gustav, there's something funny about this Easter recipe. Something's missing, man. Uh, gee, no. just give me a second opinion there, man. Uh. <laughs> Who's going to clean that? Who's going to yeah, clean sorry. that? Huh? Gee, uh, you must go off of it just to let it sink. Let it sink. Uh. Oh. Mm, it's delicious. No, it's not. <laughs> Goodness. There's, there's I feel alive. <laughs> <laughs> and soon I feel dead. Yeah. I, I feel like we need uh, just someone else. You know? A third opinion. Yeah. Maybe, maybe two extra opinions. Okay, sure. Yeah. You know, you um, there, there's oh. a guy, there's a guy who sits and and he tries to hide away every service and and Always. he's got a pellet. He's got a pellet. How's that word? Yeah, Quite yeah. yeah. Uh, for these type of things, where's actually? He drums uh, to a different beat to all of us. Ah, oh, come, come, young man. Yes, You're sir. about to get a drumming. Uh, Ashley. Uh, just tell us, uh, what do you think? Is there something missing in, in that ingredient? I know you know smoothies. I can see you. You know smoothies. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. Oh. Wow, wow. Let your hair down, young man. <laughs> okay. Something missing? It tastes like the death of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I was going to bring someone up, but I realized allergies. Uh, oh, so yes. uh, let's be safe. Uh, gee, what do you think? I think there's something missing in this. Yeah, absolutely. Good stuff. We have to ask. Did you even follow a recipe? A recipe? This is Easter. I took all the best parts of Easter and I put it together, mashed it up, well, blended it up, and we got the best Easter ever. Yeah, Gustav, I hate to break it to you, but I think you needed a recipe. Uh, the one you were following is not the one that we follow here. But luckily, today you're here with us. Yes, in the other size. So today we are going to explain to you what the right recipe is to follow for Easter. And so all you need to do is pack up your stuff, grab a seat, uh, r rinse your mouth. And our mouths, we need to go rinse. And then we will uh, explain to you what the recipe is for Easter so that you can actually have the best Easter ever. Thank you so much. Let's do that. Let's okay. us back up. So while, while Gustav and uh, Gareth are cleaning up, if anyone's got a mint, uh, swing it this way. Uh, Just move the whole thing. Oh, thank you. Wow. What a con. Thank you. Guys, we got mints here. Look at this, man. Uh, wow. Thank so you. nice. Okay, we're going to do some news while they're uh, cleaning up, uh, just to give them a chance to uh, get that ugly stuff out the way. Uh, so, a couple of news items just to, uh, to be aware of. If you're a super senior this Wednesday, 20th of Jan, you're having your end of term uh, social in the DG Mills, you're having table games. Uh, I've been at the super seniors the last two Wednesdays doing the talk for them. It's lots of fun, uh, so if that is for you, please make sure you join them. Uh, you'll have your Bible study, and afterwards you'll enjoy some table games for your last one for term one. And then obviously, like we mentioned, Easter is coming. And we start our Easter program here at St. James next week, Sunday, with Palm Sunday, the 24th. The following Wednesday, the 27th, we have a special Easter celebration here in the auditorium at half past seven. 
and then the big ones, Good Friday on the 29th of March and Easter Sunday. So there'll be lots happening in the lead up to Easter. Don't miss out and make sure that you are plugged in. Then also, speaking about Easter, when you came in, you would have got the Connect newsletter. If you didn't get one, you can grab one on your way out. Inside the Connect newsletter, we've put together an Easter Bible reading plan. That's not just for you to read by yourselves. That's for families to read together. So that as you prep as a family in the lead up to Easter, we've marked out some important passages to read, and that will get you ready. You can read it, discuss it as a family, spend some time praying around Easter. It's a great resource to use as we lead up to Easter. So you'll find that inside the Connect newsletter. And thanks to Jenny for putting that together for us. And then also, on Good, Good Friday, well, I'm following this bubble gum now, Summer. On Good Friday, uh, we normally have hot cross buns afterwards. There are so many, and Jean needs some help prepping those. Uh, so if you are available to help Jean with prepping hot cross buns for Friday, just contact the church office or pop Jean an email, and she'll be in touch. And that's a great way for you to serve and help on Good Friday. That's all the news for now. I'm going to ask you to turn to the person next to you, say hi, and if you could put anything in your Easter smoothie, what would it be? Okay, still to take up the collection. Good morning, St. James. I'm Shannon Brooks, and this morning I'll be doing the Bible reading for us. And the Bible reading this morning is in 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verses 9 to 11. For God has not destined us for wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we might live with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up, just as you are doing. This is the word of the Lord. Well, good morning, everyone. It's so good to see you all uh, this morning. Uh, thank you to that bubblegum lady, girl, who helped us. I'm going to take it out now. Otherwise, I'm going to chew while we're busy here. Um, our morning has gone fairly smoothly uh, so far. <laughs> it was so good. Um, Oh, if you don't know me, my name is Gareth. I'm part of the pastoral staff team here at St. James. Uh, everyone is obviously welcome in the service. If a time comes where you feel that perhaps your little ones or you yourself are getting a bit too rowdy, um, then you can just go in the hall behind us and you can sit and you can hear everything from there. Uh, let us just use that as a guideline to be conscious of those sitting around us. But everyone is welcome. I'm not chasing anyone away. Now, I don't know about you, um, but whenever I go into the shops uh, during this time of the year, um, while I absolutely love to see what new Easter sweets there are and how they've uh, figured out how to reuse chuckles in like another variation, um, I'm always so impressed with them uh, and how versatile that sweet truly is. Um, I actually feel a little bit sad for the people of the world who are not Christian because I realize that they are all reading from the wrong recipe book when it comes to Easter. That was one of the big problems we saw with our friend Gustav and his crazy concoction. It's all, yes, ugh, I'm going to remember it when I burp this afternoon. Um, you see, it's all good and well buying all the stuff that you see in the shops and having Easter eggs and pickled fish and all year round hot cross buns. Um, but if you only ever saw and bought those and you only ever ate those and you only thought that's what Easter was all about, you'd be missing the point of it altogether. The world out there gives us an entirely different recipe to what Easter is all about. And just like that smoothie, it actually won't taste that good in the end. The reason it doesn't taste good is because it's missing the key ingredient to Easter. I'm going to ask at the back if you could just take that slide down, because that was for the eight, and I feel like it's distracting. Thank you. Um, the key ingredient, all our favorite foods have key ingredients. Let's just see if you know what the key ingredient to some of these food items are. If I say pizza, you would say the key ingredient is? Yes, good. Someone said something else. Um, I know you need flour to make pizza, but the pizza isn't about the flour or the tomato sauce. The pizza is about the cheese. What is the key ingredient to a chip roll? <laughs> Absolutely. You guys are good at this, right? Uh, well acquainted with chip rolls, you can't have a chip roll if there aren't any chips on it. And the same goes for a burger. The key in, uh, ingredient to a burger is a, a patty, right? If there's no patty, you're just eating a sandwich. 
what about a chocolate cake? The key ingredient to a chocolate cake is? That's right. Who here wants chocolate? Yeah. Ask your parents. <laughs> After the service. We can give you a smoothie, but we're not going to dispense chocolates here. If we really want to enjoy Easter this year, and if we really want to enjoy every Easter, we have to know what the key ingredient to Easter is. And the key ingredient to Easter is? Jesus. That is 100% correct. And the only place you're going to learn that the key ingredient is Jesus is when you look at God's recipe book. And what is God's recipe book? The Bible. For today, we have three simple verses that's going to help us understand what Easter is all about. And this is what's going to make it the best Easter ever. 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 9 to 11. I'll read it again. It's so short, and Shannon read it so nicely for us. For God did not appoint us to suffer wrath, but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for us so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live together with Him. Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up, just as in fact you are doing. The first thing we read here is that God doesn't want any of us, His children, those who are Christian, those who love God, to suffer wrath, but rather to receive salvation. It's not merely just the fact that God doesn't want a desire for us to suffer wrath, but rather that He hasn't, it says, appointed us for it. He hasn't destined us for it. In other words, God has decided that everyone who in their lifetime will come to call Him their God, everyone who accepts the Lord Jesus Christ, they will receive salvation from God. Salvation, boys and girls, is just a big word that means to be saved. Well, to be saved from what? To be saved from our sins, but also from the wrath of God. God's wrath is how He responds to us when we reject Him and when we say no to Him being our God. Now, it's important to know that God is fully in control of this whole process. God has all the authority, but that doesn't mean that we don't do anything about it. The salvation that God offers has to be received by us. Now, if I were to hold out a gift to any one of you, but you never took it, well, then you can never say that you have received my gift. You have not obtained my gift. And so you can't get the benefits from the gift that I want to give you. You have to put your hand out and take hold of the gift. And God puts that gift before each and every one of us. And it's the gift of being saved, the gift of salvation. And so the first thing we see from our verses this morning is that according to God's recipe book, God has appointed each of his children not to suffer wrath, but to receive salvation. That's our first lesson. The second thing we read here is that the salvation God appoints us to or for comes through God's special agent, the Lord Jesus Christ. It is only through Jesus Christ that you can receive the salvation that God offers. That's why Jesus is the key to having the best Easter ever. At Easter, we remember and celebrate what it is that the Lord Jesus did for each and every one of us. And so according to God's recipe book, the key ingredient to the best Easter ever, which you've all already told me, is the Lord Jesus Christ, whom it says died for us. He died on behalf of each and every one of us. And that's the second lesson we need to remember. Now, why did Jesus die for each and every one of us? Well, it says so that whether we are awake or whether we are asleep, we might be together with him. Now, that sounds a bit strange, uh, but let me quickly explain to you why that language is being used. The church that this letter is being written to are trying to understand a very important question. The question is this. They are wondering that on the day when Jesus comes back to fetch all of God's children, what is called in the Bible sometimes the day of the Lord, on that great day, what's going to happen to all the people who are alive and... What's going to happen to all those who have already died? That's a good question to ask. And so as Paul is writing this letter to this church, he says, guys, 
It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what's going to happen. What matters is that you are ready when that event comes, that you are ready for the day of the Lord. If Paul was writing to us today, he would say, Maki Saki. And when I say it like that, it sounds like sushi and wine, Maki and Saki. <laughs> and I'd much rather have had that this morning than that uh, delicious smoothie. But Paul says, Maki Saki. Because what matters on that day is that we are going to live with him. Jesus Christ is coming. He's coming for those whom God has appointed would receive salvation. And he's coming to bring together those who God has saved to be together forever. Together forever and never to part. Together forever we too. And don't you know I would move heaven and earth. Parents, you could maybe sing along. To be together forever with you. That's Rick Astley, guys. 1987. What? I was listening to it in the womb. <laughs> Rick Astley. Never going to give you up. Guys, this is why Easter matters. Because God has moved heaven and earth to be with you and me and each and every one of his children. We are going to be together with Jesus forever, never to part. That's why it's so important for us to get the recipe for Easter right. Because you're only ever going to be able to enjoy Easter if you have that key ingredient and you understand what Easter is for. Just like many recipes will show us a picture of the end product, so too here we see the picture of the end product. It's a picture of us living together with Jesus forever. When will that day come? Who knows? The Bible says it's going to come like a thief in the night, which means it's going to catch us all by surprise. But the Bible also tells us that that day is inescapable. And so what matters is that you and I are ready for that day. According to God's recipe book, if we have received salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ who died for us, well, the final picture is that of us living together with him. That's our third lesson. Now, the final thing we read here is that the best thing we can do for each other at this time and as we approach Easter is what? Well, we're doing it already. Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up, which in fact you are already doing. We need to remind one another about the recipe of Easter, the key ingredient of Easter, the final picture that Easter is pointing to, now, it doesn't mean that you can't enjoy uh, your Easter eggs. doesn't mean you can't have a fun Easter egg hunt. doesn't mean you can't enjoy your all-year-round hot cross buns and your pickled fish. Maybe not all blended together. I would not recommend that. But you can enjoy these things. And on their own, they're perfectly fine. But if you only went to the shops over Easter time and you didn't come to church and you didn't read God's Word and you didn't pray and thank God for what He's done and you didn't encourage and build one another up during this time, well, then maybe Easter doesn't mean all that much to you. Maybe you need to do some work with the Lord and use this Easter as a time to reconsider where you stand in your relationship with God. Maybe it's time for you to have that conversation with someone who's been missing the point of Easter all along and who needs to be told that good Easter story for the first time. If that's all we did with Easter, it would make for a terribly sad Easter. So with just a few weeks to go, before we remember and celebrate the resurrection of Jesus, start praying for each other. Encourage one another. Build one another up with the Easter message. Pray for someone who doesn't know Jesus and who hasn't accepted the salvation that God offers. Maybe that's even New Year this morning. And if it is, can I encourage you to come chat to myself, to Lates, to Yonick, or fill in a card in the pew in front of you, leave us a little record of your visit, and, and we'll pursue you, because God pursues you, and He wants to have a relationship with each and every one of us. You've read the recipe. You know the key ingredient. You've seen the final picture, and now it's time to encourage one another and build one another up so that each and every one of us can taste how good our God is. Amen? Now, where's our good friend Gustav? Gustav. Gustav is here. 
Gustav, you've heard the message. Do you have a better understanding of what Easter is all about right now? I understand why our recipe failed. We used the wrong ingredient and we missed the special ingredient. But now I understand. And the time is now for us to encourage one another and build one another up. Jeez. So that we can taste how good our God is. Gustav, you have listened so well. And I'm so glad that you now know the recipe for Easter. Now, the best thing we can do for you visiting us and for everyone here is to commit ourselves to God. And so Lates, having rinsed his mouth numerous times, is going <laughs> to come and pray for us. And then we will sing together again. Thank you so much, Heavenly Father, that you moved heaven and earth so that we can be together forever with you. And you showed us that at the very first Easter by giving us Jesus. Thank you that through Jesus, we can be saved. And because of that, we can have the greatest hope that you will never, ever let us go. Please will you help us always to stick with Jesus and to help each other to do so too. So that this Easter will be the best Easter ever. Amen. Oh,